if this is going to leave fibers behind, this heat from this windshield should pull them. Harbor Freight is known for its discount tools, but they also have a great selection of car detailing products. From polishers to grit guards and even Meguiar's professional line like their M110 compound and M210 polish combo, which is my go-to, they actually have a fantastic selection for everything you need so you can get the job done. But they just came out with a couple of new items. Now these items are live on their website. They say they're in stock and store. Every store in my local area that I've gone to, I've had to ask for these items. They don't have them out on display. However, you ask for them, they're in the back, they'll go get them. So I'm sure they'll be you know, stocking this stuff as we go. But number one that I want to touch on is that this brand new pack of microfiber towels. You get two colors, the bright green and purple. I haven't used these personally yet, but as far as we talking about the numbers go, Really, really good. This is 80% polyester, 20% polyamide, which is a really, really good starting point, especially for the price of these things, which I can't remember, I think it's like, I'll flash it up here for you guys. Now, along with that 80-20 blend, they are also a 16 by 16 inch square, which is my preferred size, and they are an edgeless microfiber towel, which again, my preferred. I don't like a surged edge on there, just potentially could scratch, even though they're really soft edges and they should be fine. I just like having an edgeless, true towel. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open and take a look at them. We're going to be using these on a window outside. Um, I think that's the best way to test the lint-free ability of these. My window on my van is very dirty out front and it is very hot outside. So any drag from that heat is going to try and pull out lint. So we'll test it and see. I don't have a huge expectation of that. I'm assuming they're going to lint. And when I say lint, I don't mean your traditional lint. I mean just little bits of fibers coming out and kind of staying on the window. Now with these towels, they are dual pile. So what that means is one side has a longer sort of plush finish, as you can see here. And then the other side is a much more tight weave, which is, is absolutely fantastic. I, I, typically the tight weave I'll use for windows. The plusher side I'll use for uh, you know compound, polish, pickup, all that kind of stuff, wax, and even for interiors. Now the edgeless design seems good. It seems to be a laser cut. There's nothing hard on the edge here. Seems decent. Um, now on top of the 8020 and the size, they do list these as a 350 GSM. Is that true? I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and throw it on the scale and actually test that to see exactly what these weigh in at. Okay guys, so here's the scale. We have it marked in grams, as you can see. Uh, here's the scale here. We're just gonna go ahead and plop this on here. Let me just see if it centered on. Okay, there we go. 58 grams for this towel. So let me go ahead and run that calculation really quickly. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take the inch by inch of a normal uh, uh, meter, which is grams per square meter, right? That's how the rating is. So that's gonna come to 1,550 inches if you're doing the math that way. Uh, we're going to be dividing that, or sorry, multiplying that by the amount of grams we got, which is 58, and then we'll divide it by 256, which is 16 inches times 16 inches to get the square uh, result of the microfiber towel. And the result is absolutely spot on, guys. I'm actually surprised by that. It's usually a little bit off, you know, close, but not pretty much exactly spot on. 351 GSM for the 16 by 16 dual sided, dual pile, edgeless microfiber towel from Harbor Freight. Very, very impressive. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the uh, purple one on there as well. Just, you know, for good measure, let's just make sure there's consistency throughout this. I'm just going to fold this one up really quickly and toss it on here. Again, we were at 58 before, and this one is coming in at, right now, 56. Let me plop it down a different way. Yeah, 58. Okay, so a little bit was hanging off. 58 grams. These are a true 350 GSM, 16 by 16, edgeless microfiber towel. Uh, again, the 8020, I don't know. I, I have no way of actually testing that, but I don't see any, any reason that they would fake that. Um, good job. Good job, Grant's microfiber towels available at Harbor Freight. These are fantastic so far. And now again, I haven't used them, but as far as the accuracy and the rating and the quality and the feel of these, they feel very, very good, especially, I mean, at the price, this is phenomenal value. Now they also came out with, I don't, it's not necessarily a new towel, but it's an update to an uh, older one that they had. They used to have an essentially 30 by 30 plush microfiber drying towel. Well, this is the new one. The other one was dark gray and, and light gray. This one is now this bright green color and, uh, and light gray. And they changed it to a 36 by 24. So again, just going more to that more traditional car detailing drying towel size. 
Um, let's see here. I don't know. Lint free and, sca and scratch free. Uh, massive double XL 36 by 24. Green fibers optimized for drying paint, while gray fibers glide across glass. So it is dual density, dual pile. The gray is a little bit smoother. The green is a little more plush. Now, at least on the packaging, I don't see anything about um, the blend, the 80-20 blend, 70-30, 90-10, whatever it is. I don't know. It does feel good, though. Um, and the other ones I was always happy with, especially at the price. Very, very good price. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this open, though, and then we will test the weight. Let's actually find out what the grams per square meter is. Um, one thing to note with these is they do use little pins, those plastic pins, to kind of hold everything together. Make sure that don't just pull through. You actually got to remove the actual little tabs as well. Otherwise, that can potentially significantly scratch your car. And yeah, guys, now that we have this open, definitely a little more plush on one side than the other, which feels really, really nice. Um, you do have a sewn edge throughout the middle. You can see that big X which is normal, it just kind of keeps the whole towel together. Again, these are large towels. Um, I really, really like the new size, the 26 or 24 by 36. Again, it's just a good size to work with. Um, now, as far as tags go, I don't see any tags on here. So tagless, which is fantastic. Uh, that's another thing to note with these edgeless towels, they are also tagless, so phenomenal there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss this down on the scale Try and fold it up as much as I possibly can so we can get an accurate reading here, or as accurate as we can. Okay, as you can see, it's zeroed back out. Here is the towel. Let's go ahead and plop it on here. Try and get as much of it on there as I can. There we go. 388 grams. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same calculation, except instead of the 256, which was 16 by 16, we're gonna be dividing by 864, which is 24 by 36. So this guy is coming in at 696 GSM, so essentially a 700 GSM towel. Now my personal opinion, guys, on a plush drying towel, they're not my favorite. Um, I prefer a twist loop drying towel. I have a bunch that I offer. I'll also link them on Amazon, but everything will be linked down in the description for you guys below. Um, those just tend to hold a absolute ton of water and they do a really good job leaving a streak for you finish. This just will get saturated relatively quickly. However, for the price of these things, I think they're a phenomenal value. I think they're worth more than they're actually priced at. So keep that in mind. Um, again, I still, I personally don't use these as much, but if you're on a budget and you're looking for a towel that's gonna work well and not break the bank, then these are a phenomenal option for you. The third thing that they also have that is new is a brand new rotary polisher, meaning just like a drill, right? It's just gonna spin, not a dual action, does not oscillate, it's just, just a rotary. But this is from the Hercules brand and I just did a review on their new dual action forced rotation polisher, which I was extremely impressed by. But now they have a rotary and it is battery powered. Now to be perfectly fair guys, I did not buy this because I do not have any of the Hercules battery packs and I don't use a rotary polisher that often, uh, but I do have my own rotary polishers. I actually use one from MagShine, it's a corded option. I love that thing. Um, other than that, I'm always using a dual action polisher. So I didn't buy this uh, just because I didn't need it and I didn't want to buy extra batteries for, for one tool that I don't, I'm not gonna be using all the time. But I will say, in my personal opinion, because of the quality and uh, the uh, um, performance out of that Hercules forced rotation polisher that I just did a review on, which I'll link up here for you guys if you want to go check that out. I have good expectations for this rotary polisher as well. If you guys really, really want me to do a review on that, comment down below if, if enough people show interest, then I will pick it up and do a full blown review on that. But today's video was really just to bring these things to your attention and also to test out these towels. Again, so far, I absolutely love it. Now let's go ahead and head out to the front of the shop and test these guys out and see if they leave any little fibers behind on the window. All right guys, so as you can see, I have the camera set up here, but from that angle, it's actually quite hard to see uh, exactly what's going on with the window. So I'm gonna bring you in close with my camera here on my phone and you can see bugs, just tons of dirt, everything else on this window, it's actually quite filthy. Um, now I always just clean my windows just using water. Typically I would wash the vehicle first, but in this case, we're just sticking to water. Um, I actually have a whole video on how I clean my windows only using water to a street free finish. Um, so I'll link that up here for you guys as well if you wanna check that out. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the purple towel. Uh, I have it loaded up with water. This is just tap water, guys. I didn't use my DI uh, filtered water. This is purely tap water. 
We're gonna use the uh, longer pile here, and then we're gonna use the short pile on the green one to dry it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, now obviously I, I'm gonna have to scrub a little bit here because there's quite a bit of contamination buildup of bugs and stuff on this. But again, because the surface of this glass is pretty hot, it's just sitting out in the sun. It's a hot summer day here in San Diego. Um, if this is going to leave fibers behind, this heat from this windshield should pull them. Um, now the inside's always the worst area to kind of consider that, but we'll get an idea from the outside of this. Just flip it over real quickly. Wow guys, so far, unbelievable. Let me go ahead and pull you in close again with the cell phone camera here. And as you can see, nothing left behind. You can see it's still dirty up here and dirty over there, right? But on this square that I did, it's looking fantastic and no lint, no fibers have been left behind. Um, so I'm impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside of that spot as well, just to see there, cause that typically will pull some stuff, but let's see. All right guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just basically just hit the same square that I just did on the outside and make sure that we're not leaving anything crazy behind. All right, so we're wet, dry it up with the other towel. And this is a case where, you know, in normal circumstances, again, with the heat on this windshield, I would be seeing pieces, little fibers of the microfiber towel being left behind and I'm not seeing any of it. Feels very, very smooth on the glass. Guys, I'm very, very impressed with these towels. Okay, so we're back again. I'm trying to show you guys through the glass so that you could see any fibers if there were any, and there's just not. The little specks that you're seeing are, you know, just little chips and stuff in the windshield from just the car being driven. Um, but as far as the microfiber is performing, at least this pack, perfect. All right, guys, so there you have it. This pack is, again, another, similar to this towel, worth a lot more, I think, than, than they're priced. I think they're fantastic. I think they did a really good job. They feel like they're good quality. Now, as far as longevity, when I wash them, are they gonna twist up? I don't know, but again, at the price, I don't care. It's a fantastic price. Really, really good set of microfiber towels available at your local Harbor Freight if you're in a pinch or if you just wanna stock up. Um, I think they're, they're well worth it. Same thing goes for the new drying towel. Again, I'm not gonna test this one because I know the results of a plush style towel. The other one that they used to have in the 30 by 30 size essentially, um, did a fantastic job as well for a plush towel. This one's similar. I think this side is, the green side's a little more plush than the old one was. I think the other one was kind of the same thing on both sides, whereas this one has a little more plush feel. So maybe a little bit better. Um, but again, I think regardless, I know that's a fantastic value. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that helps. Um, just, you know, I think all of us shop at Harbor Freight from time to time, and it's good to know the things that you should be picking up there. Um, again, at the value of these things, I'd pick up a pack every time I go, personally. I'm just gonna pick them up and, uh, and have them there as needed. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.